Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. Uh, we made up in our minds to rejoice and to be glad therein. So grateful, so appreciative uh, for the fact uh, that he loves us. Uh, he loves us uh, more than we can ever think, more than we can ever imagine. Uh, we're so grateful for his love that's indescribable. Uh, but it is so embraceable. Uh, we love the fact that he loved us. That's why we loved him, because he first loved us. Uh, we give him praise, glory, and honor. Thank you so much for joining us this morning uh, for another uh, time in prayer as we pray together as the family of God and the people of God. Uh, so grateful for you all. Thank you. Maybe this is your first time joining us. Uh, we're here every single Wednesday at this particular time, calling on the name of the Lord. Uh, you're more than welcome to join us, and you're more than welcome to share. We have a, a video of this prayer that's going to come out a little bit later, the recording, um, and we'll post that on social media. And, and I just ask all of you to uh, send the link out to someone, send the prayer to your kids, send it to your family, send it to somebody, post it on your social media as we continue to spread prayer at a time like this, a day like this. A season like this, man, our world needs some prayer. and We need to be uh, praying together and doing what it is that we need to do. So, Father, we thank you. Uh, we give you all of the praise, all the glory, and all the honor. We thank you for this is the day that you have made, a day, God, that we have made up in our minds to rejoice and to be glad therein. Thank you, God, for being the architect of this day. Thank you, God, for you being the divine designer of this day. We thank you, God, because no entity in the entire universe can make a day. You're the only one that can produce a, a day. Uh, you are Elohim. Uh, you are the creator, God. And we, we thank you for your divine hand, for your creation. Um, and not just the fact that you create and you allow some things to kind of come together and be pieced together, uh, but no, you have divine intention. Uh, you have a plan, you have a purpose, you have a will, you have a desire for what it is that you create. And we're so grateful that we are a part of that plan. We thank you, God, that where we are somewhere in your master plan, you had us somewhere in your master plan, God, you, you saw us. Us. Somewhere in your master plan, God, you allowed us to be created on purpose and for purpose. And you saw us standing in this day. You saw us participating in this day. You saw us even in this moment praying and talking to you and being dependent upon you. We thank you. We thank you for that, for your such, you have such detail that you, you're so, uh, you're so, uh, methodical and so meticulous and so intentional about every single part of our lives, every single, every single detail, um, of our, of our, of our entire, entire existence, God, you have it mapped out. You have it totally planned. And for that, God, we, we tell you, thank you. So we know, God, if you have fit us in your scheme, um, as relates to eternity, all the way back in eternity past, uh, we know that you are going to continue to be our Jehovah Jireh. You're going to continue to provide for us whatever it is that we need. Um, you're going to continue, um, God, to be our source and our strength. Uh, truly, it, it's in you that we live and in you that we move, in you that we have have our very being. We give you glory, honor, and praise uh, for not being up there somewhere. You're not the good Lord. You're not the man upstairs. You're not the big guy. But no, you are in you are in imminent. You are active and involved in our lives. You are Emmanuel. You are God that is with us. And we thank you uh, for the privilege that where we can be able to waltz right up to your throne. I'm ho uh, humbly, but yet boldly before the throne of grace. We can obtain mercy and find grace to help us in the time of need. We thank you the way you allow us access, um, you've torn the veil, uh, between, uh, between the, uh, the, the outer courts and the, and the inner court and the holy of holies. And we can come right, um, into your presence. And we're, we're grateful for that. We're, we're so appreciative for that. And we, we're going to take advantage of that. That's what we're doing now. The fact that, uh, you're the God of the universe, the fact that you're all knowing, the fact that you're all powerful, the fact that you're omniscient, but yet and still you give us audience. We cannot even 
get in touch with the president if we wanted to. We cannot even get in touch with with mo with most um, CEOs of, of most companies. We cannot just waltz into the branch the branch of a bank or go to the hospital and say we demand to see uh, the person that's in charge. We'll never ever get to that to that to that final layer. Um, we'll get we'll get uh, we'll get stuck and we'll get blocked and we'll get um, you get redirected over and over and over again. But yet and still you're running the whole universe and yet you give us access to you we we thank you for that that never gets old to me that never gets uh, i never get tired of saying that never get tired of stating that reality um because i believe that prayer is is one of our most potent weapons that you've given us as the children of God and I also believe at the same at the same breath that prayer is one of the most underutilized uh, weapons that you've given us as the children of God prayer is the most one of one of the most potent weapons that you've given us as the people of God and it, it is the most one of the most underutilized weapons and and that it's nothing more than the trick of the enemy of course he doesn't want us praying of course he doesn't want us depending upon you of course he doesn't want us uh calling on you because it's effective. It's efficient. Uh, it, 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 something happens when we pray. Something moves when we pray. Something shifts when we pray. Something something uh, get re, gets realigned whenever it is that we pray. But we thank you, God, that you you birthed in us, God, a praying spirit. And I and I pray that over your your people. I pray that over everyone that's connected. I pray that over everyone whose heart and whose mind is to please you and to honor you. I pray, God, that you'll give us a praying spirit. Some of us don't have a praying spirit. Some of us uh, kind of just attached to pray. Even in this moment, we kind of detached, kind of disengaged. We kind of just got the prayer on as we kind of going through the, our emotions and going through the day. Our, our, we just kind of just kind of got it, just doing it, you know. We, we, but uh, and, and this is a time that we we do it. And, and but I pray. God, that you're producing us. I pray, God, that you'll birth in us a praying spirit, God, that where um, that we'll we'll set aside time like this, God, to talk to you on a daily basis. And God, not only um, after the time of prayer that's been designated, that's been consecrated for you, but God, all throughout the day, God, we'll be we'll have our mind on you, God. We'll 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 cut that that radio off in the car as we're as we're driving, God, or we'll just put some worship on, and God, we'll talk to you. And God will communicate with you. Give us a praying spirit, God. As as God, we're we're as we're sitting in the meetings, and as we're as we're engaging with our coworkers, God. And they're there, they're talking, they're saying whatever they're saying. But under breath, um, we're calling on your name. Under breath, we're praying. Under breath, we're praying for wisdom and direction and insight. God, give us a praying spirit, God. Whenever it is that we're having a a deep discussion with our spouses, God, and they're they're saying this and they're saying that, and God, we really don't know how to respond or how no, don't know how to react. Then we don't want to be argumentative, don't want to be combative. But God, we pray for a praying spirit. That God, as we pray, God, I, I I believe God that you will that you will guard our words as we pray. God, I believe God you'll bridle our tongues as we pray. God, I believe God that you will calm our calm our emotions as as we pray. I believe God that you will you'll give us direction and insight. God, as we pray, God, we'll be able to taste our words before we say them. God, as we pray, God, we'll be able God not to not not to be so, not to fly off the handle and not be so emotional, not be so combative, not be so defensive, God, as we pray. Lord, give us a praying spirit, God, because it, it is, it is the apostle Paul, God, that said in 1 Corinthians 9, 27, that we bring our bodies and we beat our bodies and bring them under subjection, God, to where after we preach to others, after we've heralded to others, God, we ourselves uh, will be a castaway. It is the, the apostle that said, uh, Jew, rather, the Lord's brother said that we can build up on our most holy faith uh, with praying in the Holy Spirit. And God, that's what we desire. We desire to pray. We desire to get to the place, God, that where we can be crucified with you. It's not, not, not us to live, but it's you that live through us. It's like that we now live, God. We live it uh, in and by the faith of the Son of God. And God, we want to have a praying spirit that where God, uh, COVID won't be alive. And, I, and I, I won't be alive to respond. I won't be alive to react. I won't be uh, alive to be so fleshly, but no, God, we want to represent you. We want to put you on display. We want to put you on the billboard, God, the way you'll be made manifest, God, the way you will, you will show forth your glory, the way you will get the honor out of the situation. We thank you for this privilege called prayer. Thank you, Lord. We praying for a, a, a praying spirit, the way we just don't get together on Wednesday morning, but God, every morning, God, we're, 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 we're intentional about spending time with you that every morning as, as a family, 
Every morning, God espouses God. We will carve some time to pray together. Every morning, God, before we leave the house and zippity do that, go here, go there, God, that we will make up in our mind that you're just that important. That God, we got to talk to you, God. We got to invite you in our day, God. We have to, we have to let you know, God, that we're giving you access. We got to let you know, God, that you, you have permission, God, to do what it is that you do. We give you glory, honor, and praise for this, this privilege called prayer. We're praying today, God, um, in particular. We're praying specifically, God, as we have a prayer request. You said, God, well, to make our request be made known unto you. And God, we're praying today as a family, as the people of God, we're praying that as a local church, God, we will commit ourselves daily uh, to put on the whole arm of God. We we need it, God. We 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 have to commit daily to put it on, God. We, we have to put on. That's what the apostle said in Ephesians chapter 6. He said, put on the whole arm of God. We have, we have to put it on. We have to be intentional about it. have to be purposeful about it. We have to spend time in prayer, have to spend time in our word. God, that we might be able to arm ourselves, God. We'd be able to, to, to be able to understand, God, that we're in the middle of a war. Um, that God, we're called to arms and God, we, 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 we ought not be, we ought not be lulled to sleep, God. It's, it's battle time. It's war time. God, with all that's going on in our world, our world is getting darker and darker and darker. And God, you called us to be light and salt in this earth. God, our, our, our government, God is is seemingly just just corrupt. God on both ends and all this political violence and all this political inward fighting and political fighting across the aisle. God, the red versus blue and the uh, and the right versus left and God, all these different things is going on. God, we 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 need your help. We need your assistance. God, to where. And what some of us are so wrapped up in what's happening, God, that we even, uh, we even, uh, we even rejoice in the demise of others. We, we rejoice, God, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the back, and in individuals going backwards, whether that be someone's life, um, almost taken. We rejoice in that, or, or we're so wrapped up in this on the other end that we rejoice in someone seemingly, uh, kind of cognitive is cognitively slipping, uh, not, not, not being as sharp, not not being as 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 responsive as 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 they once were, as age continues to set in, we kind of rejoice. God, we're in a bad place. God, where uh, our our two um, potential commanding chiefs and actual two former commanding chiefs of our nation, God, that where, uh, where where neither one, God, is is one that we uh, can 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 kind of hang our hat on or, or sign off on. Um, God, for, depending on uh, holistically, God, as a nation, but God and and, and we. And there's a divide, God. There's a rift. There's a separation, and it's a different day uh, where where it's, a, it's 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 hostile, God. It's it's very it's very it's very uh, very volatile, God. It is like I said, a tipping point in our nation. But we're praying right now in the name of Jesus, that because that, that's our responsibility. We're praying, God, that there be no inward fighting. We're praying that there be no civil war. We're praying, God, that there be no no continual fallout about this and about that. We're we're praying not just politically, God, but but it says crime on every hand. We're praying, God, for the unnecessary murders, and we're praying, God, for the unnecessary crime and the violence and all the things that's going on, all the raping and the molestation and uh, all the things that's on our in the, at our disposal, at our fingertips that we see every single day right in front of our eyes. We're praying for our nation, God. You said in your word, if any nation were to forget about you, God, you, that, that we'll be turned into hell, and that's exactly what's going on. God, we've forgotten about you, God. We've forgotten about our, our morals and our ethics and our values and the word of God. We forgot about what we put on the back of that dollar bill that says it's in you that we trust God. We forgot about um, God, our pledge of allegiance to the flag and we're, we're, we're acknowledging you and we're calling on your name and we're blessing your name. We've forgotten about that. We've never been perfect. America has always had her ills. America's always had her issues. America's always uh, has had her challenges. Uh, but God, we pray. Right now, in the name of Jesus, God, we're praying, God, that as the people of God, we will not just sit back, God, and allow God to, with the, the land that we live in and the land that we love and the land that we're appreciative of, just not sit back and not do anything. And, and God, we, 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 the, the best thing that we can do, God, is to put on the arm of God. And we're praying right now in the name of Jesus, God, that where we will do just that. We're praying right now in the name of Jesus, God, that where we will be sober, God, that where we will be vigilant, knowing God. 
God, that we got an adversary, the devil that walks about as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. We're praying, God, that where we will understand, God, that it's our responsibility, God, to to not to not be not to dis detach ourselves. It's not our responsibility to disengage. There's some individuals that love you and honor you, and they feel like the answer is because this world is so wicked, this world is so corrupt, God, that we got to we got to go in in, in isolation. We got to go in by ourselves. We're gonna lock the door and stay away from people. We're only gonna hang out with Christians. We're only gonna be around the the word of people. Then we're only gonna do this and do that. that. That's not what you call us to do. You said you've left us in this world, but you didn't leave us to be a part of this world. You left us in this world so we can be able to bring about a change in this world. You left us in this world so we can be able to let our light so shine and let our lives be so live. You left us in this world so we can be able to do what it is that we need to do. And we can be able to do it in a way, God. We can be able to be able to walk in the way. We can be able to respond in the way, God, that brings you glory and brings you honor and brings you praise. We bless your name and we we magnify you and we exalt you, God, and we call on your name, knowing God that 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 you told us, God, that we're we're here for a reason, God. So help us to put on the whole arm of God. Help us, God, to be strong in you and in the power of your might, God. Let our dependency be on you. Let our strength lie in you, God. Let our let our let our vitality be found in you, God. It's not about us being strong in ourselves, and not about being proud of ourselves on how how strong we are, and how how mental stable, mental tough we are, and how stable we are in this area and that area. God, it's not about us, God. Help us to, to to graduate past us. It's not by our power, it's not by our might, but God, it's by your spirit. Help us to be strong in you, and God, we we thank you that our strength and our stability is in you. You told us in your word. God, that we ought to be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as we know, God, that our labor is not in vain. Be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding. And God, we're praying, God, that that's what we, that's what we'll, that's the people that we'll be. God, that we'll, we will, we'll be strong in you, God, and we will, we'll be abounding in you, God, and we'll be steadfast in you and we'll glorify you. We thank you, God, for giving us the helmet of salvation, God, as we, as we put on our armor, God, help us to know that we know that we know that God, we are saved, God, that we are children of God. That's where the enemy attacks us. He attacks us in our mind. He attacks us in our thought pattern. He attacks us, God, on, 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 on what we what we, what we we think. And God, we pray right now in the name of Jesus, God, where we will understand even though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare, they're not carnal, but they are mighty through you, through the pulling down. God, we pray and we pull down every stronghold. We pray. We pull down every thought. We pray and we pull down down every wicked imagination. We, we pray and we pull down everything that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Everything that tells us that we're not enough. Everything that tells us that we're not valued. Everything that tells us we're not loved. Everything that tells us that we're not, we're not important. Anything that tells us that we don't, we're not in your plan and in your purpose and no one uh, cares about us. And it's better if we're not here and, 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 and I don't have anybody that cares. All these things God, that the enemy bombards our minds with. We pull it down right now when in the name of Jesus, God, that we're not going to listen to the lies of Satan. We're not going to listen to the lies that we even tell ourselves. We're not going to listen to the lies of society. But God, we're gonna we're gonna allow Your Word, God, to trump everything, God, that comes up against us in our heart and our mind. We're gonna pull down every stronghold. We're gonna cast down every wicked imagination, God. That's what the helmet of salvation is all about. It's about knowing who we are. It's about knowing, God, that we've been saved from the very penalty of sin, and we're being and we've been saved from the power of sin. And one day, God, we're going to be saved from the very presence of sin. God, help us to know that we are saved, that we are a child of God. I am a son of God. I am a daughter of God. Help us to know, God, that our condition has nothing to do with our position. God, our condition, we may be going through our condition. God, it might be tied in the mud. Our condition, God, it may be challenges and it may be, may be situations, but God, our position in you, God, you said, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature, old things pass away. And behold, all things have become new. We thank you, God, for our for our position in you. And God, help us to put on that helmet of salvation and where, where I'm not going to go back. I'm not going to indulge. And I'm not going to engage. And I'm not going to give in to the temptations of this world. But God, we're going we're gonna to do what we need to do. 
to glorify you and to magnify you and to exalt you. Thank you for the helmet of salvation. Thank you for the breastplate of righteousness. God, as we're marching and as we're going forward, God, our, 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 the breastplate protects our heart. It protects us from God, the very, 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 uh, arrows of the enemy, God, that wants to, that wants to, that wants to, that wants to attack. And God, the breastplate of righteousness as we go forward, God, we, we understand again our position. Our position is right. Righteousness, the righteousness of Christ is not our own righteousness. It's not about our own holiness, but no God, you've given us, you've imputed, you've given unto us your righteousness. You moved us over on the ledger and you've given us, you lived the life that we could not live and you died the death that we should have lived. And we, and because of that, we got your reward. We got the reward, our reward that we should have gotten was hell, but instead we got a reward of a, of a, of a life pleasing unto you and a life acceptable unto you. We are righteous and God, we pray right now in the name of Jesus that we'll keep that across our breastplate, that we'll know we're right with you. We'll keep that in our heart of hearts, God, that we're right with you. We will not allow, again, suicide. We will not allow depression. We will not allow anxiety. We will not allow all of these different emotions, God, to kind of slide us, God, out and into motion. But no, God, we won't be controlled or manipulated by our emotions. But God, we'll know that we got the breastplate of righteousness and we'll know that whenever it is that the enemy or even ourselves come to attack uh, us when it comes down to righteousness. God will know exactly who we are and whose we are. Thank you for the breastplate of righteousness. Thank you, God, for the for the shield of faith, God, that we're able to quench every fiery dart of the enemy. But the devil is shooting at us right now. The enemy is shooting his, 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 his arrows. The enemy is shooting at us and he's trying to trying to tell us that we can't. The enemy is shooting at us and telling us that well, we'll never be we'll never be uh, experience joy again. The enemy is shooting at us. The enemy is telling us we'll never be able to, to, to come out of debt. The enemy is shooting at us. He's telling us, oh, you're, we're always going to be taken advantage of and you're always going to be sad and you're always going to, whatever it is, he's shooting at us. Oh, that business is never going to get off the ground and your kids are never going to get it together. Oh, the devil is a lie. But God, we thank you for the shield of faith, God, that says, for I believe God. I pray right now in the name of Jesus that there's a group of individuals, God, that are, that are, that are hold up the shield of faith, God, that no matter how bad their life look, no matter how challenging it may be in this season. God, we pray, God, that we'll have the shield of faith and the, the shield of faith says that I believe you no matter what. The shield of faith says have faith in God. The shield of faith says that you're able to do exceeding abundantly above all we can ever ask or think. The shield of faith says that as long as I got breath in my body, you're able to bring me out. The shield of faith says that God, you may not come when you want us, when, when, when we want you to come, but God, you're right on time. The shield of faith says, God, that you're able, God, to do anything but fail. The shield of faith says, with my God, there's nothing that's impossible. The shield of faith says that there's no weapon that's formed against me shall be able to prosper. Help us to believe you in spite of ourselves. Help us to believe you in spite of our situations. Help us to believe you in spite of what it feel like. Help us to believe you in spite of what it look like. God, we're going to have the shield of faith, God, and we're going to have our loins girded about with truth, God. We're putting on the whole armor, God. We have our loins girded about with truth. That's the belt of truth. It's the thing that holds everything together. It is your truth, the truth of your word. God, Satan operates in lies. This, this world operates in lies and manipulation, God, and fear. But God, help us have the belt of truth on, God, that holds everything together. That God, your, your, the, the truth of your word, God, stands the test of time. That heaven and earth will pass away. But not when the crossing of a T or dotting of an I of your word will ever fail. Help us have the belt of truth on. And we'll let us let us put the truth, God, even on our facts, God, because the facts can change, but your truth will never change, God. Help us to put the truth on the, the, the fact is, yeah, it looks pretty bad, but the truth says uh, that my God is able. The, the, the facts say that, that we should be all upset. We should be all nervous. We should be complacent. We should be apathetic. Oh, but the truth of God's word says, he whom the Son have set free, we're free indeed, God. We got the belt of truth, God, and help us to have our uh, feet shod with the gospel of the preparation of peace as we put on the whole armor in this world. God, help us to put on the shoes of faith, God. Help us to walk in shoes of peace, rather. Help us to walk in peace, God. Help us to bring gr uh, gr uh, glad tidings of peace. Help us to come in peace, God. Help us, God, as we're coming and as we're approaching, as we're coming in the situations, as we're coming in atmospheres, as we're coming on the job. Help us to come in peace, God. As we're coming to the house of the Lord, help us to come in peace, God. As we're coming in the house, 
cross. God, help us to come in peace. As we're walking in and out of conversations, help us to walk in and out in peace, God. That we're not coming, uh, we're not coming to, to, to fight. We're not coming with our dukes up. Oh no, God, we're coming with peace. And we're coming in peace. And we're coming in in a way, God, the way we can be able to exemplify, God, the Prince of Peace, God, because that's your name, wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, God, help us have on the shoes of peace, God, that we're walking in peace, God, and we're walking in, God, a place, God, that we're bringing reconciliation, God, and we're bringing and we're merging the two, God, and we're, we're not, we're not, we're not walking in separation. We're not walking in division, God. We're not walking, God, trying to cause, uh, trying to cause bedlam and trying to cause challenges and issues, but no, God, help us to walk in peace. God, the way we glorify you, help us to walk in peace where we honor you, help us to walk in peace. God, the way we, we lift you up, where we magnify you, where we exalt you, help us to walk in peace, God, and what it is, God, that we do and what it is that we exemplify and what it is that we what it is that we embody. We thank you, God, for this whole, for this whole armor, God, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, the shoes of faith, God, the, the, the shield of faith, God. And we got the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Thank you for giving us, God, this, this armor. Help us to be intentional every single day, God, to put this armor on, God, and to put our, our offensive weapon. Our only offensive weapon is the word of God. Help us, God, to bathe ourselves in the word. Help us to put ourselves, God, in the posture of the word of God, that where it's not by power, God, it's not by might, God. We don't live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of your mouth. Help us, God, to put the word on. Help us, God, to, to listen to the word. Help us, God, to rehearse the word. Help us to let the word be read to us out loud. Help us, to, God, to be able to digest the word, God. Help us to meditate in it both day and night, as the scripture says. Don't turn to the left and don't turn to the right, but God, to meditate in your word every day, God. And you said this then we'll have good success. Then we'll be able to walk in prosperity. Then we'll be able, God, to, to effectively defeat any enemy that comes up our way. We thank you. We thank you for your word. And then Paul, as he continues to talk about that, the whole weapon tree that's been given us, he says, finally, he says, praying always. And God, we thank you, God, that this prayer is a part of our weapon, God. This prayer is a part of what it is, God, that we're doing. And we're praying, God, that we'll walk in total victory in every area of our lives. You've given us the weapon tree that we need where we can walk in victory in every area of our lives. You've given us what we need the where our marriages, God, can be whole and our marriages can be healthy. God, you've given us what it is that we need, God, that our, our singleness, God, will we'll be victorious in our singleness, God, and we'll glorify you and we'll magnify you. You've given us every weapon that we need as we pray for our children and we cover them, God, from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet. We cover all of them, God, from the oldest to the, to the youngest. We ask you to cover our babies right now in the name of Jesus from all hurt, all harm, all incidents, all accidents. Cover our babies right now in the name of Jesus, God. That there be no harm on their lives, God. That there be no, that there be no attack on their lives. That the enemy don't see his desire on their lives. But we believe in God, God, that you'll protect and preserve our children. We believe in you, God, that you're able, God, to keep them from the wicked one. We believe in you, that you'll keep them from the rape and the molestation and the pedophile. God, we'll keep, we're praying to you, God, that you'll keep our children, God. Let them be at the right place at the right time, God, that they won't be, uh, they won't succumb, God, to the to violence and succumb to the, the negative peer pressure, God, but put a no down in their spirit, God, whenever it is that they don't need to be where it is that, that, that that's getting ready to jump off. Let them not be the negative influences and don't let them get influenced negatively, but God, let our babies, God, uh, lift you. Let our babies re be reminded of what we poured into them. We thank you for it in the name of Jesus. Do it for our children, our grand grandchildren. God, you're able to do it and we thank you for it in the name of Jesus. We pray for those individuals that have been affected by rape and molestation. We pray for those individuals that have been affected by abuse, whether that be verbal, mental, or physical. We're praying for 100% healing right now in the name of Jesus. Kind of just drop that in my spirit as I as I was as I was praying for our children to be kept from those things. But then God, the, the harsh reality is that there's some of us, God, that have been affected by those things. God, 
God. And we're praying right now in the name of Jesus, God, that you bring about a healing. We're praying right now in the name of Jesus, you bring about God a deliverance. God, we can never get, we can never forget about those things, but God, you'll, you'll, you'll be able to bring us to a place, God, the where the, where the womb is healed. God, you're able to bring us to a place, God, the where that, that, where that, where that hurt that took place, God, whatever it is, no matter how egregious it is, no matter how, how difficult it is, no matter how vicious and nasty it was, God, we're not minimizing it, but God, we're just simply talking about what you're about. <clears throat> We're not minimizing someone's pain. We're not minimizing what someone has gone through. Oh no, God, but we're just making, we're just speaking big about how big your and powerful you are, God, and your and and your your power. And far exceeds God our pain. God, the, the things that we've gone through, God, it, it cannot even be compared to what it is that you offer us when it comes to peace and when it comes to joy, when it comes to righteousness, when it comes to deliverance, God. And we thank you for it in the name of Jesus. You'll do it. You'll do it in the lives and the hearts and the minds of your people. You know what we need, God. There's some that are grieving, um, God, over the transition of a loved one. We ask you to wrap your arms around them. Be with Sister Deborah Underwood, who's who's trying to get acclimated with life, uh, life with her husband um, being with you. Um, been married all these years and then now here, her, hus her husband is gone. We pray that you'll wrap your arms around her and strengthen her and comfort her and be with her as only you can. You're the God of all comfort. Do it for her and all the kids and all the grandkids, God, and everyone else, God, that may be experiencing uh, loss and grief and their, their loved one, their sibling, God, their child, God, their spouse, uh, their, whomever it is, God, that, that is transition. I pray, God, that you'll, you'll be with us all and keep us all and comfort us all. We thank you for it in the name of Jesus. Thank you for Truth and Love Ministries. Thank you that the vision is coming to pass. Those things that you've shown us, those things that you told us about, those things that you whispered to us, those things that we've been teaching, those things that we've been preaching, those things that we've been we've been preparing for, God, is coming to pass. And we thank you for it in the name of Jesus. We pray, God, as you're moving, as you're shifting, we know the enemy is doing his best to do the, to bring about the vision and to bring about this unity. Oh, but God, we we pray, God, that we'll endeavor to keep the unity of the saints, God, as the apostle instructed us to do as being the body of Christ. God, help us, God, not to get caught up in the drama. Help us not get caught up in the gossip. Help us not to get caught up in the he said, the she said, that I thought, that I heard, and all those things. Oh, no, the devil is a lie. Help us to embody, God, unity. Help us to embody, God, no, no backbiting and no slander. God, help us to embody that as being your people, God, because whenever it is, God, that you, that you trust us and whatever it is, God, that you add to us, God, we can look for the, for there to be some type of assault, some type of attack. We can look for it to be many adversaries behind the door that you'll open for us. And God, we thank you that where we know this and we acknowledge this, God, and we just gonna that's why we're gonna put on the whole armor so we can be able to withstand the enemy and and and, and all of his onslaught and all of his attack. Thank you for the vision coming to pass. Thank you that we're able to feed people and clothe people. Thank you, God, for uh, Truth and Love Ministries being a house of generosity, God, the way your people God, the way they're connected to the house, God, as they're, as they're being fed, God, that's what they feed, what's feeding them. They help, what's helping them. They sow into what's being so what's sowing into them. Thank you for the faithfulness and the liberality, God, of, of the givers of, of for truth and love ministries. Thank you for the, for those individuals that tithe on a regular basis. And thank you for those individuals that have given sacrificially on a regular basis that help us, God, to be able to do what it is, God, you've assigned for us to be able to do. And we give you glory and honor and praise for it, God, because your will and your plan and your purposes will be done in the earth, God, and we give you glory for it. We thank you for every person that's a part of our ministry. We thank you for every person that serves, every person that's in ministry, every ministry leader, every ministry spearhead. We thank you, God, uh, for your purpose and your plan and your will and your agenda. And God, we give you glory, honor, and praise for it. I pray uh, for my family. I ask you to cover and be with my wife, Lady Camilla Jean Ness, but I ask you, God, to be with her mentally, physically, physically, emotionally. I pray, God, that your plan and your purposes will be done in our life. We thank you, God, for this fresh vision that you've given up. We thank you for this rejuvenation that you've given up. We thank you for this for this, uh, for this direction, God, that you've given up. We pray, God, that you'll be with her in every endeavor. We pray that you'll be with her, God, in every everything, God, that you're giving to her, God, to be able to give to your people. We pray, God, that your wind will be in her back. We pray, God, that there'll be no resistance. We pray, God, that there will be no sabotage. We pray, 
God, that there will be no disrupting. We pray, God, there will be no distracting. But God, we pray that your plan and your purpose will be done, God, from, from, from every event, God, all the way down to the conference that's coming up. We pray, God, that it will, that, that every mother, God, that's connected to our ministry, God, will plug in and God, be, 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 be encouraged and be equipped and be empowered as, as a result of that, God, and mothers, not just in, in truth and love, but mothers around the city, mothers around the country, uh, will be blessed as a result, God, of, a, of an intentionality, God, of ministering to those mothers, God, in those spaces, and we thank you for it in the name of Jesus. We know the enemy don't want to see your plan and your purpose, God. The enemy don't want to see individuals being ministered to. No, the enemy wants us to see us, want us to stay bound. The enemy wants us to stay locked in. The enemy wants us to stay in the dark. Oh, but he's a lie. Oh, he, he, he he's too late. It's, it's going to happen, but God, we're going to bathe these things in prayer, knowing God that your purpose and your plan will be done. We're praying for Sharia and Kendall and Carson, C4 and V4. We're praying, God, that your plan and your purpose, God, will be done in their lives, God. And we, we thank you that, that you're going to keep them from the wicked one, God, that you're going to allow your purpose and your plan to be done. And we thank you for it. We thank you for every person, God, that's heading to work, every person, God, that's that's already at work, every person, God, that, that's out there on the road and doing what they got to do. We pray that you'll cover us all and be with us all and allow us, God, for the remainder of this day, some kind of way to exalt you, some kind of way. We pray, God, that you'll allow us to bump into somebody we might be able to share our faith with. We might be able to encourage them and pray with them and point them to you. We thank you in advance, God, because we know that you're going to do it because this is the confidence that we have in you. If we ask anything according to your will, you said we can have it. And God, we thank you in Jesus' matchless name. Amen. Amen and amen. Well, I thank God for your truth and love. Thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you for participating yet again in another Wednesday edition of Morning Prayer. Again, to all of our first-time callers, first-time visitors, first-time guests, we're grateful for all of you. Uh, thank you for jumping on. You can jump on every single Wednesday at this time, 6 a.m. sharp, and we pray until we pray. That's what we're going to do. We're going to keep on praying and do what we got to do, and, um, and I'm grateful for all of you, and thank you for inviting Truth and love. When the video comes out a little bit later, again, I challenge you to send it out. Listen, let me give you a couple of quick announcements. So we're all on the same page. We have a, a pantry and food um, giveaway, clothing, food and clothing giveaway today at 1030. If you know someone that's in need, you can send them by 1030. Um, they can get some of this food. They can get some clothes. If you desire to help connect our church to the community, this is what we're supposed to be. We're here to be the hands and the feet of Jesus. You can come. You can help set up. Come and help work a little bit, bit in the middle. Come break down. Do whatever you got to do. You, can't, you don't have to stay the whole time if you're not available to do so. The Cybership Development class is going to be tonight at 7 p.m. Um, be in-house, uh, 1989 Dunn Avenue, I will assume. Uh, and, and on Zoom as well, uh, uh, continue to stay, um, locked and loaded on GroupMe and they'll give you more instructions exactly on, on the location of that. Um, we have our connection class be part three this Thursday at 7 p.m. And of course, we got noonday worship experience, uh, tomorrow at 12 noon as we're, um, in John chapter 18. Uh, I think this is a gospel according to John part 82, I believe it is, but this is John chapter 18 as we talk about Jesus being, um, apprehended and being arrested in the garden and being betrayed by Judas is going to be a tremendous lesson. Um, a lady sees a uh, lady's lounge. Um, she, she, she said, this is, this is, uh, this is man cave on steroids uh, for the ladies. Live, the live discussion, um, is going to be on Friday night at, at 7 PM. Um, this is live, um, online, um, on YouTube, um, Facebook. Um, and so you can, you can, um, be a part of that. We have um, our uh, living single. Um, our announcements a little out of out of sync here. Um, now we got back. I'm back to Thursday. Um, living single is going to be uh, that's the singles ministry uh, life group at 7 p.m. on Thursday. Come out and be blessed um, with our single adults living true. We're hitting the streets doing evangelism Saturday at at 11 20 11 30. Meeting at 11 15. And 11:30, we're going out, and I'm assuming again this is at Dunn Avenue. We're going to we're we're going to connect our church to the community. And again, I made mention of 
these different events is coming on, coming up when it comes down to Lady C. Ladies, y'all have been longing for, begging for. Uh, we want to get involved and in all these things, and now it's here. And so make sure you get involved. Don't let the city come and you don't um, participate. The, July the 26th, that's a night of hope, as um, she's calling all ladies for these meaningful conversations. And then, of course, to reframe her mom friends is going to be in, in August on the 30th and 31st. And, and we thank God for all of that. So I love you guys. I thank God for you. Go to our website. Go to Group Me. Stay in the know. Stay in the loop. Um, so we can know what's going on as we continue to do what we need to do. Listen, y'all, this last thing, I'm gonna, it's two more things. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be ministering on relationships all month long. Take those cards that we've been passing out to you and give them out to someone, invite someone. Folk love uh, coming and hearing about marriage and relationships and things of that nature. Um, so that this may be an opportunity for you to pique their curiosity, that person you've been praying for, that coworker you've been working on. When it comes down to getting them to the house of the Lord, this might be the moment that you've been waiting for. Pray. Ask God to give you an opportunity. Pray. Ask God to let you sow a seed and you and you pass out a card to those. And don't have them the whole rubber band. That's like two or three cards. No, you take one of the cards out and you hand them one of the cards and you invite them to come and worship with you. I pray you'll do that. Um, as it's our responsibility to be evangelistic. Last thing I ask you to do is post on group me if you don't mind. Let the let the whole truth and love community know, man, we some praying folk around here. All right, I love y'all. I thank God for you. I'll see you soon. Peace out. Here come to church. Bye bye.